The nucleus is a membrane-bound organelle that contains most of the cell's genetic material. The interior of the nucleus does not contain any membrane-bound organelles or compartments. Its contents are non-uniform and consists of a number of subnuclear bodies like the nucleolus. The genetic material in the nucleus is organized as multiple linear DNA molecules combined with a variety of proteins to form chromosomes. The genes within these chromosomes are the cell's nuclear genome. The function of the nucleus is to maintain the integrity of these genes and to control the activities of the cell by regulating gene expression. The nucleus can therefore be considered the control center of the cell. Nuclear pores are hollow protein structures that penetrate the nuclear membrane and act as doorways between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. They allow small molecules and ions to freely pass into or out of the nucleus, but also may allow larger proteins to enter the nucleus from the cytoplasm if the proteins have special sequences, or tags, that indicate they belong in the nucleus. In the same way as proteins are allowed to enter, RNA transcribed in the nucleus and proteins destined to enter the cytoplasm have export sequences that tag them for release through the nuclear pores. Mitochondria are the power plants of the cell. They convert sugar into ATP and enzymes related to cell metabolism. Mitochondria are unusual in that they are surrounded by two membranes and contain their own independent genome. They also can divide independently of the cell in which they reside, meaning that mitochondrial replication is not tied to cell division. The number of mitochondria found in a cell varies by the type of cell. The more energy a cell needs, the more mitochondria it will have. Many cells contain only one mitochondria while others may contain as many as several thousand. Mitochondria are found in both plant and animal cells. The cytoplasm is a semi-fluid, gelatin-like substance that surrounds the organelles inside the cell. It acts to cushion, protect, and support the organelles, and fills all the empty space with the cell membrane not occupied by organelles or other structures. Although the cytoplasm is made up mostly of water, its structure and properties are not fully understood. There are multiple levels of organization within the cytoplasm, including concentration gradients of ions and complexes of metabolic enzymes. The concentrations of ions such as sodium and potassium are different in the cytoplasm than in the extracellular fluid. These differences in ion levels are important in processes such as osmoregulation and cell signaling. Inside each human cell, there is approximately six feet of DNA existing as 46 chromatin strands. Normally, this DNA is dispersed in a somewhat loose configuration. However, when the cell is preparing to divide, each strand of DNA is condensed by a factor of 10,000 times into a structure called a chromosome. This folding and repackaging serves to facilitate the process of cell division. When the cell divides, the chromosomes separate providing a complete copy of the generic information to each cell. The nuclear membrane consists of two lipid bilayers, the inner nuclear membrane and the outer nuclear membrane. The function of the nuclear membrane is to separate the nucleus and the nucleolus from the rest of the cell contents. The nuclear membrane is embedded with special proteins called nuclear pores, which act as specific doorways that permit substances such as nutrients, waste, and cellular information to pass into and out of the nucleus. The centrioles are a pair of structures on either side of the nucleus made up of nine triplets of microtubules. The centrioles play a key role in the formation of the mitotic spindle during cell division, as well as helping determine the spatial arrangement and location of the nucleus within the cell. 
Centrioles are found in most animal cells, but are absent in plants and fungi. The lysosomes are tiny sac-like structures filled with enzymes called hydrolases. Like vesicles, lysosomes are constructed of a phospholipid bilayer similar to the cell membrane. The lysosomes function as the digestive and waste disposal organelles of the cell and enable the cell to utilize nutrients. Lysosomes also break down foreign substances, such as invading microbes, thus freeing up their base components for reuse. Lysosomes may act as a bandage and help to repair damage to the cell membrane caused by invading microbes. When the cell dies, the lysosomes will destroy the cell through a process called apoptosis. The endoplasmic reticulum is a contiguous complex network of interconnected tubes and membrane sacs that extend through the cell's cytoplasm. This complex makes up roughly one half of the membranous tissue of the cell. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum, the rough and the smooth. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum, or smooth ER, gets its name from the fact that it lacks the surface ribosomes of the rough ER, and thus has a smooth appearance. The smooth ER is primarily responsible for the manufacture of lipids, carbohydrate metabolism precursors and the detoxification of drugs and poisons. In most cells, the smooth ER is much less extensive than the rough ER. However, in certain specialized cells, tasked with detoxification or carbohydrate metabolism, the smooth ER is much more extensive. The Golgi apparatus consists of stacks of folded membranes called cisternae. Each disc-like cisternae contains different enzymes which selectively modify the macromolecules that are passing through them. The Golgi apparatus's main functions are to store, modify, sort, and package macromolecules synthesized by the rough endoplasmic reticulum and ship those molecules via vesicles to destinations both within and outside of the cell. The Golgi apparatus could be considered the post office of the cell. The cytoskeleton is made up of a series of specialized proteins called microtubules and is the cellular scaffolding or skeleton contained within a cell cytoplasm. Much like our skeleton, the cytoskeleton provides structure and facilitates movement of the cell. It also plays important roles in both intracellular transport, which is the movement of vesicles and organelles within the cell, and cellular division, or mitosis. The cytoskeleton gives the cell its shape and is present in all cells. The cell membrane physically separates the interior of all cells from the outside environment. It's made up from a phospholipid biolayer embedded with specialized proteins. These specialized proteins act as doorways into and out of the cell. The cell membrane the cytoskeleton is made up of a series of specialized The cell membrane physically separates the interior of all cells from the outside environment. It's made up from a phospholipid biolayer embedded with specialized proteins. These specialized proteins act as doorways into and out of the cell. The cell membrane is selectively permeable to ions and organic molecules and controls the transport of those substances into and out of the cell and is involved in a variety of cell processes such as cell adhesion, ion conductivity, and cell signaling. It also serves as the attachment surface for both internal and external structures. Like the, the ribosomes are large, large complex molecular machines found within all living cells. Their primary function is to synthesize new proteins by reading the instructions from a messenger RNA strand. Ribosomes do this by linking together amino acids in the specified sequence. Ribosomes consist of two subunits, each made up of ribonucleic acid, or RNA, and proteins. 
The smaller subunit reads the instructions from the messenger RNA, and the larger subunit assembles the amino acids into chains. When the ribosome completes the assembly of the new molecule, the two subunits of the ribosome split apart. Ribosomes are the only organelle that's present in all cells, including bacteria. The nucleolus is a dense, spherical, non-membrane-bound structure found in the nucleus of the cell. It's composed of primarily proteins and nucleic acids. Its main function is to trans ribosomal RNA and combine it with proteins to form ribosomes. The nucleolus also can capture and immobilize proteins, thereby preventing cellular interaction with their binding partners. This helps regulate cellular activity. Vesicles are basically mobile storage units. They are similar to lysosomes in that they are constructed of a phospholipid bilayer, but differ in that while the lysosomes are involved in digestion and transport, the vesicles perform no modifications to their contents. Vesicles may transport or store many substances from complex organic molecules, like hormones, to simple substances, like excess water, until those substances are ready. Vesicles are basically mobile storage units. They are similar to lysosomes in that they are constructed of a phospholipid bilayer, but differ in that while the lysosomes are involved in digestion and transport, the vesicles perform no modifications to their contents. Vesicles may transport or store many substances from complex organic molecules, like hormones, to simple substances, like excess water, until those substances are ready to be used by the cell or expelled. Eukaryotic cells differ from prokaryotic cells in that they contain a nucleus and other membrane-bound structures called organelles. Eukaryotic cells can be a plant, animal, or fungi. Many single-celled organisms like protozoa, and all multicellular organisms are eukaryotes. The endoplasmic reticulum is a contiguous complex network of interconnected tubes and membrane sacs that extend through the cell's cytoplasm. This complex makes up roughly one-half of the membranous tissue of the cell. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum, the rough and the smooth. The rough endoplasmic reticulum, or rough ER, gets its name from the fact that its surfaces are studded with ribosomes. The membrane of the rough ER is contiguous with the nuclear membrane as well as that of the smooth ER. The rough ER's primary functions are to manufacture and then fold proteins into their final useful configurations. The proteins it produces are then either secreted from the cell, transported to locations within the cell where they are needed, or sent on to the Golgi apparatus for further processing. <laughs>